Hello friends. I am Clarice. Welcome to the second lecture in lecture series on Katia. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to start the application by using two methods, GUI and its components, how to use the mouse, how to start sketching, how to reset toolbar, its contents, and their position. The application can be started either by double-clicking on the icon placed on the desktop or by typing the process name in Run. The application takes some time to open up, so be patient after double-clicking or after giving the command. The GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. It is made of the following components indicated on the screen with their location. Each performs a certain task. Let us see GUI in detail. Utility menu. In utility menu there are several buttons with similar functionality buttons grouped together. The user can switch between different workbenches using start button in the utility menu can access workbench-specific tools from Insert button. Standard functions like Save, Open, New can be accessed from File button. Can switch between different open files using the Window button. All other toolbars in the Utility menu will be discussed on contextual basis. The different toolbars present on screen by default are organized on top, right and bottom areas, whose position can be changed by selecting it using the left mouse button and dragging it out, and taking to the desired location. On top left position what you see is known as specification tree. All the designing features along with its history and chronological manner are located here. On top right we have a 3D compass which can be used for manipulating the model. On bottom left area we have user prompt area, which provide user the hint of what to do next when he is in a particular command or in general. On bottom right we have power input area, using which we can access different commands. Or we can input values required in a particular command. In the middle you can see the geometry area which has three planes, X, Y, Y, Z, and Z, X which can be used for sketching. The mouse can be used for selection and manipulating the geometry. Left click can be used for selection. Control button can be used to add multiple entities in your selection. Middle click can be used to pan the geometry. Middle mouse click followed by right click and holding them together along with mouse movements can be used to rotate the model. And leaving the right click in between can be used to zoom in and out along with mouse movements. There are alternate ways in which you can manipulate your geometry. Use of transformation pad. The transformation pad can be activated by following the path. Tools. Options. Devices and virtual reality. Tablet support tab. Activate transformation pad. And pressing OK, now you can see the transformation pad on your screen, which you can use for manipulating geometry using the single left click in respective areas. Likewise you have tools for rotation and banning available in view toolbar. Now let us see how you can enter into Sketcher. After you have opened the application, you may see a default window which you can close. After this, follow the path. Start. Mechanical. Sketcher. And select the plane using the left click on which you want to make the sketch. Your screen will automatically orient itself perpendicular to the sketch plane that you selected. Now you can start sketching. The position 
of toolbars and its content can be reset by following this path. Tools. Customize. Toolbars tab. You can reset the position and content by pressing on the desired button. Thank you for watching. Do watch this space for more tutorials and lectures.